Oh my god. How many times do I have to see pictures of my cousin and her new fiancé before my brain explodes? Seriously, they're everywhere. Every single app I open, there's a new picture of them being all cute and in love. But I'm not exaggerating though. That's the problem. They are literally everywhere, like Facebook, there's a picture of them on a date. Instagram, a picture of her dream wedding dress. Twitter, a post about how happy they are to have found each other. I could open like Candy Crush or something and they'd probably be there too. <sighs> no, I don't mean it like that. She seems happy and I'm happy for her. It's everyone else in our family that's getting on my nerves. They keep sending me links to her posts and pointing out that, Oh, your cousin is so happy with her relationship. They're so cute together. Their wedding is going to be beautiful. Why don't you have someone in your life like that? You need to go out more and meet someone. <sighs> it's so annoying. And it's been going on for months now. Months. I swear, I am on the brink of madness. Complete and utter madness. Do you hear me? Hey, quit laughing at me. I'm being serious. I'm going to be driven to despair by my family's demands to find a suitable partner. My life is literally turning into a historical drama. And I don't even get the fancy clothes or anything. Alright, fine. Maybe that was a little over dramatic, but only a little. Really, though, it's been almost non stop. Just look at all these texts I've gotten. Yeah, exactly. I literally get at least three people a day texting me about it. And don't even get me started on the way they tag me in all my cousin's posts. She actually called me about it and asked why everyone in her family keeps doing it. She just laughed at me and said, good luck. Yeah, I know. Apparently before me, she was the one getting annoyed by her family about finding someone. She said it was especially bad because her older brother had gotten married right after her boyfriend broke up with her. Yeah, I know, right? I'd feel bad for her, but she is the one getting married, and I'm the one who has to deal with my grandma asking about the cutie in the picture I just posted on the Insta book. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she means Instagram. But every time we try to tell her that, she just forgets. So, Insta book it is. Huh? Oh. <laughs> well, it was actually a picture of you and me. Do you remember when we went to the fair downtown and were messing around with those bubble machines? Well, I posted the pictures to Instagram, and now apparently my grandma thinks we're dating. Also my grandpa, but that's mainly because he doesn't have any social media, so he's just taking my grandma's word for it. <laughs> oh my god, wait. Hold on. That would be perfect. No, I mean like if you and I were dating. Wait, listen, you gotta hear me out. Come on, this is a great idea. Think about it. I need my family to get off my back about dating someone, and some of them already think we're dating. So, if I were to just be like, hey, surprise, I am dating them, then they'd finally leave me alone. It's perfect. What do you mean, what's in it for you? Helping out your best friend in the entire world? That's what? My gratitude should be enough of a reward. <sighs> Fine, I guess. If I say we're dating, then can I bring you to my cousin's wedding and you have some of the cake? How does that sound? 
What if I tell you there's also going to be a buffet? Ha! <laughs> I knew that would get you. Let's shake on it. Okay, so it's a done deal then. Now, how should I tell them? Yeah? You think that'll work? Just a picture of us together? Hmm. True. That would probably be the quickest way to do it. Not to mention that it would be kind of poetic justice or whatever. Alright then, what kind of picture were you thinking? Like, what's gonna make us look like a real couple? Because I don't think a picture of us just hanging out and watching TV while we're on our phones is the best way to do it. Oh. Yeah? Just on the cheek, right? And I'll just take a selfie of us? Okay, then... Then come over here. Get closer to me. We both need to be in the picture if we want this to work. Mm. Alright. Now lean your face closer so I can kiss your cheek. Hey, quit laughing. If we want to make this look convincing, then we have to look like we're in love. <sighs> Whatever. Just smile and let me kiss you. <laughs> Got it. Oh wait, I wasn't holding the camera right. Let me try it again. Okay, there. Wait, no, that one's kind of blurry. Okay, let's just try this again one more time. Perfect. That one looks fantastic. Mm, look at us. We look so cute together. <laughs> we really do, don't we? Like, this picture looks so real. Hell, I'm convinced that we're together. You look so happy, and your smile is so cute. It's impossible to think we're not together after seeing this. Why, thank you. I think I look rather adorable as well. Okay, now just let me post this real quick. And... Done. Post it. <laughs> oh my god. This is going to be amazing. I can't wait to see what everyone says. Better yet, I can't wait to see everyone eat their words. They all keep talking about how I need to find my perfect other half. But the joke's on them. I've already got you right here next to me. Well, yeah, of course I do. You've always been my perfect match. Ugh, I mean, we've practically been friends forever. Obviously, we're each other's half. We're like a dynamic duo or something. We complete each other. I mean... You know, not like that, but it's like, you know what I mean. <laughs> mm, oh, wait a second. Holy shit, look at this. I just posted the picture a minute ago. Look how many comments it has already. I know, that's crazy. Oh fuck. And now everyone's texting me. And Grandma left me a voicemail. Hmm. I feel like I may not have thought about the downsides of this plan before going through with it. I'm about to be completely and utterly drowned in calls and texts from my entire family. But hey, at least I have the best fake partner ever to get through it with. Oh. Hey, my cousin just texted. She says, congratulations, and welcome to the family. Yeah, I know. 
That's super sweet of her. Oh hey, she also says that if one of us catches the bouquet, she'll give us both two pieces of cake. I mean, hey, I'm game if you're game. Perfect. Well then, here's to us and our successful partnership. May it bring us much cake in the future. 